Many times, the easiest way to improve a map is to change its base map. Hi, I'm Heather and I'm a cartographer. In this video, I'll show you how to choose a base map. This map shows coral reef watch stations and the imagery base map is thematically great for the subject because it shows ocean depth really clearly. But this polygon around the Philippines is almost impossible to see, so I'm gonna try to choose a new color. Blue on blue doesn't work. Green seems good because this is the no alert symbol class and green has connotations of good health. But if I test the map with a colorblind simulator, it doesn't work. So I need to keep looking for the perfect color and it's going to be a difficult task. Here's the lesson. Very often the best improvement you can make to your symbology isn't in the style pane, it's in the base map pane. I already had the perfect color scheme, I just couldn't see it because I was using a base map that had too many colors of its own. Every time I design symbology, I'm designing it in conjunction with the base map. I go back and forth making changes to the base map and the symbols until I'm happy with how they look together. The appearance of the base map has a huge impact on the appearance of your symbols. If you're making a thematic map in ArcGIS, your best default choice for base map, in my opinion, is light gray canvas. Yes, you should try them all, but if you don't know which one to choose, I recommend this one. In a thematic map, the base map is the background information, and background information should stay in the background. Yes, the roads and borders and land cover are all important, but you want them to support your thematic layers, not distract from them. Light gray canvas does this in a few ways. It has a very low saturation, it has low contrast and few details. All of these things mean that it sits at the very bottom of the visual hierarchy of your map and won't distract from your thematic data. However, if I have a nighttime themed map, I might go with dark gray canvas. If I want something with a bit more contrast, maybe the place names are really important, I like human geography. If I need a bit more context, for example, maybe it's important for map readers to have a better understanding of what other features exist in the area, I like topographic. If I need a lot more context, I'll choose imagery. But remember, the more context and detail and color you add to your background, the harder it's going to be to design effective symbols to sit on top. Let's look at one more example that's a little less obvious. This map isn't bad, but would it be even better if I push that base map even further into the background? Yes, I think so. The roads and labels and highway markers are competing less now with the thematic data and the colors no longer have competition either. So next time you're choosing symbology, don't forget that you also have to choose a base map. Now, what if the perfect base map doesn't exist for your particular map? Watch my next video to learn some tricks for modifying base maps to meet your needs.